So we do gather in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness and join together Colton and Chelsea, to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessings upon them so that they may be strengthened for their life together and nurtured in their love for God. She's very strong, strong, strong woman. Creative. He's very creative with everything. He always thinks of different things that I wouldn't. She is very outgoing, and that's one thing I absolutely adore and love about her. My best friend. He is always there for me, and any time that I am at my lowest or I need just somebody to be there to listen, he is always there any point in time for me. He definitely got really strong in general as just being in a relationship. Made me more confident about myself. I would say that she constantly pushed me to reach my limits and everything and just like in good ways. Energetic. He always brings a lot of energy and just he'll make me laugh when I need it and he's able to just make the situation better for everybody. And I'm just constantly happy no matter what. So there's really not really ups and downs with us that much. We work well together. As for the two of them together, I just always remember looking at them and thinking, I can't wait until they get, get married. Um, and it's just as simple as that, right? Like some things just make sense. Chelsea and Colton fit together perfectly. Colton's goofy sense of humor, and Chelsea's optimism and sunny disposition. I know they'll never stop making each other happy. They glow when they're around one another, and it's impossible to not enjoy their company. Definitely a lot of adventures together. Um, like I said, she's very outgoing. Probably will settle down in the future and have some kids and just constantly just being happy no matter what. I'm going to be happy, I already know I am. I think just a lot of love and happiness and just starting a family of our own and just showing them how we became a very good, strong family. And how we started. It's gonna be a good run, good long run with us, and uh, just can't wait for whatever's gonna happen. And, uh, I love you, and you're literally my everything, and I will do whatever I can to make you happy. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. If they fall, one will lift up the other, but woe to the one who's alone and falls and does not have another to help. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? And though one might prevail against another, two will withstand one. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. I foresee um, just a life of happiness. Um, there's always times where, you know, we have our ups and we have our downs, but we're always open with each other, we're always honest with each other, and we're both very confident in the fact that we both love each other and can kind of work through anything. Um, we've had a lot that we've had to face with um, our lives as single people and then as us being together, but we know that we can rely on each other through anything, and I'm happy to have him by my side for the rest of my life. I encourage you two to keep doing what you're doing. Stay true to each other, and I know you will. Be unabashedly yourselves, because that's why we all love you and why you love each other. So I wish you two a lifetime of happiness, and I can't wait to watch you grow together.
never lose focus of this day and most importantly, the promise that you two made to each other this afternoon. A good marriage isn't something that you find, it's something that you make and you have to keep on making it. The best things in life are the people we love, the places we have been, and the memories we have made along the way.